हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन ई एस सिक्स और एक्मा स्क्रिप्ट टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन स्पेसिफिकेशन न्यू की वर्ड वॉज आर टू द जावा स्क्रिप्ट स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड दैट की वर्ड इज क्लास एंड इट इज सेव दैट क्लास इज अ सिंटेक्टिक शुगर फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्टर फंक्शन सो वॉट एवर यू कैन डू विद द क्लास कैन ऑल्सो बी रन विद कंस्ट्रक्टर फंक्शन एक्चुअली बिफोर द क्लास की वर्ड वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट we used to create the classes using the constructor functions so what i'm going to do in this video is i will explain uh, you like how you can create the classes using the constructor function and then using the old syntax and then i will convert the same class that was created using the constructor function uh, using the new uh, uh, syntax like class keyword using the class keyword okay so we will find out how to create the public uh, private methods and how you can initialize the members of the uh, class in constructor function as well as using the class keyword so let's get started now uh, first of all uh, let me show you the constructor function so we have got the user remember that this is a function okay this is a function uh, if you want to create a class there is a different syntax so i will just briefly show you so this is how we create the class so again you can see the class name is user and it is a convention to give the constructor function the upper case letter like the initial letter or the first letter of the uh, constructor function should be in cap capital so that is a convention and uh, to create a Uh, in any instance we can pass like the members uh, here name and id for example now to create the private field you can use this let or fair okay if you don't use uh, let or fair this salary will be uh, not linked to this particular function okay then there is a private instance uh, method this is how you can create again this let is necessary if you don't use let what happens is that this print salary this particular function will be added on the window object global object okay and uh, same thing happens uh, to this one as well if you don't use let and fair then the salary will be added on the global scope so it is very important uh, to remember that let or fair declarations are important otherwise these fields will not be private okay so this is how you create this fields private in your constructor function now if you want to create the public fields just to this dot name this dot id remember that name and id is coming from the parameters this one okay after that there is a public instance method so if you want to create a public method this is how you can create it this dot print instance is equal to you can uh, write any code here and this is a private instance method you can't access this from outside of the this particular uh, function user which is basically acting like a class okay and uh, to create the static method you can directly add a property on the function like user dot print static and then function name so this is how you can create the static method now uh, to add the prototype method uh, you can use this syntax user dot prototype dot print proto so you can add any functions like that on the prototype next one to create the uh, instance or the object from this uh, constructor function you can use this syntax new is very important without new it will not create new object so new user and then you can pass any parameters th that are required to create an object and then what we are doing here is we are calling different different methods so this user object can call print instance because print instance is a public method uh, here this is a public method okay that's why you can access outside of the constructor function then to access the static uh, method you can directly use the function name that is user capital u remember here this is not a object this is a function user dot print static then next one is user one dot print proto so print proto is remember that this is on the user dot prototype right so what happens is that uh, it checks if user1 has this method since user1 doesn't have the method what happens is that it goes to the goes and checks the prototype of the user so it finds it there and then it can print the details based upon that and then uh, you can access the global fields uh, sorry this is a public field we can say 
so you remember that name and id are public fields so you can access it directly outside of the class but there is one private uh, field as well salary which you cannot access from outside of the constructor function so you can uh, you can't access the private uh, mem like private method as well the print salary is a private method remember so you can't access it but if you want to access print salary you can do that uh, by calling your public instance method so if you call this one you can see here print salary it is it, it is able to call it because it is inside the constructor function okay so this is how the constructor function works now we are going to take the same constructor function and convert it into the class syntax so just see how the the syntax is different now now here you see instead of function we have got class and then class name there is no parenthesis here then there is a curly brackets and inside the curly bracket this is very important there is a constructor function so constructor function gets uh, invoked whenever we create instance of this user class and then uh, initialization happens through these parameters now remember that to create the private fields you can use this syntax so this is the old syntax in uh, latest es 2022 you can create the private fields using the hash syntax like hash salary but before that uh, if you wanted to create the private fields you can you could have done that using inside the constructor uh, function basically i mean the, uh, this particular method constructor method so there is a salary and uh, this is the private so you can't access outside of the class then print salary is another print salary is another uh, private method and here you can access this uh, private field as well now to create the public fields you can use this syntax this dot name this dot id then to create the public uh, method you can use this dot uh, any method you want to create and uh, next is uh, to create the static uh, method remember that we have got static keyword so in constructor function we didn't have this keyword so this keyword has been added in, again in es6 so with the help of that you can create the static methods for the class okay so which are not associated with uh, any object if the, it is at class level you can you know, use the class name and then dot print static like that you can call it next one is prototype method now to create the prototype method you don't have to do anything just use the simple syntax like this print uh, any function uh, method name and then uh, method body here you don't uh, need to put any late or anything okay so if you put late or fair then it will not uh, work as a prototype method that's why it is very important that you don't put anything here so if we put late suppose see what happens see it is not allowed it is saying that a unexpected token a constructor method accessor or the property was expected so that is not allowed so this is how you have to create the prototype method so basically that will be attached to the prototype of user so if you compare this with the constructor function remember that outside the constructor function we had created the static method like this by adding the property on the user function and then uh, we added the prototype using the syntax so the syntax wise it is completely different in the classes but behind the scene what is happening is that this particular user class is acting like the constructor function itself okay so that is why it is called as classes are like a syntactic sugar it is still following the prototype based inheritance it is not following the class based inheritance that we see in the c++ java etc and down here we have created instance of this user class then you can invoke this public method to invoke the static method you can use directly the class name then a prototype method you can invoke just like the public method the only difference between these two is that print instance is the method attached to the object itself it doesn't need to follow the prototype chain to invoke this method but in this case what happens is that this is a prototype based method so what happens is that it goes to the prototype and then sees this method and then invokes it next one is you can access the global variables directly outside of the class but to access the private variables you can't access so you can see the print salary we had this private method right inside the constructor 
method so you cannot access this one and the salary as well outside of the class if you understand this constructor function and classes you will notice that classes are like syntactic sugar behind the scene basically all this uh, syntax is getting converted into the constructor function syntax okay so it is just like having a user function and inside that you can create a public fields public methods etc and then uh, the prototype is being changed behind the scene static methods are being created behind the scene everything is just uh, like this like what you are seeing in the constructor function but it is better to work with classes because it gives uh, like uh, if you want if you are coming from the c++ or the java background then uh, it will be very easy for you to uh, work with the javascript with the class index but it is very important to understand the constructor function as well because behind the scene this user class is getting converted into the constructor function itself i hope this video is useful if you have more questions let me through the comments